Alrighty, welcome back to the Anita Black Show. Now, we have a situation where Bill Cosby has been released from prison. And you have a lot of black people who are actually mad that he has been released from prison. They are standing shoulder to shoulder with white folk, white women, about how horrible it is that uh, Bill Cosby has been released from prison. Now, we have told you many times that, yes, it may be true about the things that went on. I don't believe all of them. Um, I believe that a bunch of people were uh, sent to try and bring this man down because he had uh, refused to go along with NAMBLA's agenda. Um, I believe there was quite a bit involved with getting all these women to come out of the woodwork because remember, I told you in another show, these women, they kept quiet through so many different things. They kept quiet through the whole R. Kelly thing, one and two, round one and round two. They kept quiet through the whole, um, the, uh, the stuff that was happening with, um, all kinds of entertainers that were having problems, uh, sports and people that were getting accused of rape and all these different things that they kept quiet through and making it seem like Bill Cosby was the only one in Hollywood that were doing these things or possibly doing these things. And that's what raised my suspicion. So you have a lot of people who feel the same way. It's like something about this just didn't sit right it just didn't sound right so people got mad at felicia rashad who did the show with bill cosby um the cosby show and she is now the dean of uh, a college and at it's supposedly a black college with law school college which should know that you know a person you know you should look into the facts you should um be having some kind of uh, debates about stuff, not just condemning people because of, you know, popular opinion. But she said that, you know, a, a wrong had been righted. Because anybody in the industry knows that there is not just one person that's doing stuff. And if you have been in the industry for any amount of time, you know that there are females that will will grab a man's behind, will grab a man's genitalia, will grab, will do what they got to do to get into a man's hotel room. There have been females that have been on, on ledges outside of a hotel balcony, I mean a hotel room, uh, outside the windows, uh, anything to get to, to males. And then you got males that, you know, will do anything to, to touch uh, Beyonce, you know, to touch anybody. So there's a lot of touching that goes on in the industry. Um, you have concerts where, you know, you got big burly uh, security there for a reason because if you get too close to the edge of the stage, there are, you know, concert goers in the front row that will try and pull your arm, will try and touch your leg, you know. <laughs> Male or female, uh, well, no matter who's on stage, they feel very comfortable uh, touching you. So, you know, you have to have those boundaries, but those boundaries are crossed all the time. And when you go to these parties, you see a lot of stuff that happens. Um, so to think that Bill Cosby was, or to even make it seem like Bill Cosby was the only person having relations outside of his marriage. Come on now, you guys. So, um, Felicia Rashad, she showed her uh, support uh, for him, as she has done all along, you know, the way. And people decided they wanted to cancel her. So there was a debate as to whether or not um, these people trying to cancel people have some issues of their own. So in the um, whole 
um, as you guys are fighting for uh, legal rights reform, one you have to really fight for is innocent until proven guilty. We did a book called Black Codes, and one of the things that was brought out with Black Codes is that white people are innocent until proven guilty. Black people are guilty until proven innocent. And even when there are other people involved that are just as guilty, they hang that white person up, uh, uh, hang their career, you lynch their career, uh, in order to to um, retaliate against something or in order to uh, keep uh, other black people in line. And people don't look at that and tell the truth about that part. So Felicia Rashad is trying to tell you guys the truth about some stuff and black folks are just going along with white folks and not hearing. And then they keep saying, why don't entertainers speak out? Entertainers are speaking out and trying to tell you, you know, that there's a lot of shenanigans going on there. R. Kelly ain't the only person that didn't check IDs. And it's a lot of females in these clubs, in these parties, that say, you know, the party says 21 or older. The club says 21 or older. Akon showed you that when a 14-year-old girl um, pretended to be 21, had ID and all. And uh, these young girls up in the club saying they're 21, got ID that says they're 21, ordering drinks, doing all kind of stuff. And you go and you date one of them or you go to the hotel with one of them and later on you find out that this is a 14 year old child so you know these these females are doing some things too and it's time for people to start telling the truth about what's going on you talk about these guys hitting females and rough with females and forcing females to have you know sex or whatever which is a huge problem but don't make it seem like it's just females that are going through this because one of the things we had a problem with with the Me Too movement is they swept all of the black males that are uh, raped and in the industry and assaulted and uh, molested and all kinds of things in the industry. They swept that under the rug like it didn't matter. So, you know, when you see articles like this, you got to fight, dig a little deeper. Um, use your common sense and whatnot. Uh, ask yourself, is that person the only one? We know from, y'all know from the show that I did, Epstein was not the only person trafficking uh, females and, um, you know, you have females that will, to make money, will actually uh, sign up for uh, escort services. There's a bunch of them. There are so many escort services, my goodness, and uh, females, you know, trying to get pregnant so that they could get, you know, a guy to marry, all kinds of things go on. So you gotta stop just jumping on the bandwagon and look deeper, all right? So there are people who are happy that Bill Cosby is out. Um, they believe that Bill Cosby does have some things that he needs to make up for, but, uh, they do not believe all of the stuff that was said about him, and they definitely know he was not the only one. All right, I hope that answers you guys' questions about that. Bye.